morning, we're following up on an electric scooter crash that happened in St. Pete three weeks ago. St. Pete police say the two people who were riding on a VO scooter hit an 81 year old woman. That woman died a few days later in the hospital. And now police are stressing the importance of safety on scooters. ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick live outside St. Pete PD for us this morning. Keely, scooters are everywhere you look. You can rent them in all of our big cities. So what are police saying about this? James, that's right. And as far as that crash, police tell me the investigation is still ongoing. But officers here tell me this is a brutal reminder that everyone needs to follow the rules of the road. St. Pete police are stressing the importance of safety after a tragic scooter crash three weeks ago. You have to follow all the traffic laws. You have to go with the flow of traffic, stop at stop signs, yield signs, and traffic signals, traffic lights. I spoke to Sergeant Brian Andrews from St. Pete PD. He walked me through all the rules and regulations that come with riding an electric scooter in St. Petersburg. First up, he says drive sober. These electric scooters can only be used in bike lanes or roadways that have a speed limit of 30 miles per hour or less. These scooters cannot be driven on the sidewalk. Sergeant Andrews tells me another key rule is there can only be one person per scooter. Oh, it can be very dangerous if you have two people operating a scooter. Yep, it's always best practice to have one person on both hands on the handlebars, giving all due caution at all times. And if you don't follow the rules of the road, it can come with a hefty fine. There is a recourse for having more than one person on the scooter, and that would be a municipal ordinance violation. Um, it can be a fine of up to $500. In addition to that fine, officers can contact VO and have a person's account suspended if they're driving recklessly or don't follow the rules. Sergeant Andrews tells me they have a team deployed downtown to enforce these rules. The main takeaway he wants people to remember is these scooters are motorized vehicles, so follow the rules of the road and ride with caution. And we have all of those rules listed on our website for you. That's at abcactionnews.com. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, Keely McCormick, ABC Action News.